Today I want to look at graphing and interpreting graphs AP style. That's what I call it. So let's just quickly review. Suppose we have a spring oscillating system here with a mass that's attached to a vertical spring and it's set in oscillation. And we've got a table of data that's been collected here, the masses and the corresponding periods of oscillation. We remember that the equation for the period of a spring oscillating system, T equals 2 pi square root of m over k. Now suppose we were given this problem and we were asked to find which two variables would I graph that would yield a straight line whose slope could be used to determine the spring constant. Now looking at this function, t equals 2 pi square root m over k, the data that I have is mass and period. So those are my two variables. So if I look at this equation, one thing I can do is I can look at what is proportional to what. And when I'm looking at proportional, I can basically get rid of all the constants and just keep my two variables. So I've got a t on one side, and on the other side, I've got m, but it's inside a square root. So t is proportional to the square root of m. So that means that I could graph t and the square root of m, and that would give me a straight line. Another way to look at this is I could similarly graph t squared and m. And that would give me a straight line as well because that's, that's really the same thing, right? t and square root of m is the same relationship as t squared and m. If I squared both sides, I would see that that's the same. So at this point, I can choose either one, graph t and the square root of m or graph t squared and m. So let's go ahead and make a choice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and graph t squared and m. So in order to graph t squared and m, I need to create a new column of data. And this new column of data, I'm going to call it t squared. Very creative. The units of t squared will be whatever I do to the variable, I do the same thing to the units. So I'm squaring the t, therefore I'm going to square the s. s squared, those will be my units. And at this point, I simply square the t values. So 0.4 squared, 0.6 squared, 0.8 squared, and 1.2 squared. So now I've got this data of t squared. I'm now ready to create my graph. So to create my graph, I'm going to first draw some axes. So let me grab some graph paper. All right, so I've got some graph paper. I'm going to first draw my axes, like so. I'm going to label my axes. Now, what is going to go where? If I'm looking at an equation like this, t equals 2 pi square root m over k, or t is proportional to the square root of m. When I have the equation of a line, I'm remembering that's equal to y equals mx, and you can have the plus b if you want the intercept. But basically, any equation that's of the form y equals mx, that's going to be a linear graph. And so the first variable here, so we say y is proportional to x. So the first variable here, the t, or in this case, the t squared, that's going to be my y, and m is going to be my x because t squared is proportional to x, and so I'm going to draw that here. t squared is going to go on the y-axis here. So this is t squared. Units will be seconds squared. And then on my x, I've got mass in kilograms. So I've drawn axes, I've labeled axes, I need to scale them. So the mass goes from 0 to 1. So let's just, we'll call this 1. That makes this here is 0.5, and this would be 0.75, and this would be 0.25. And the t squared is going to scale from 0 to, looks like about 1.5. So I'm just going to go, because I've got nice graph paper here, I can get some pretty easy divisions there. That's 0.5, 1.0, and 1.5 like so. So I've drawn, labeled, and scaled axes. Now I'm ready to plot some points. So to plot the points, I simply go on the mass to 0.11. It's about here, and then I go up on the t squared to 0.16, and that is going to be about, yeah, let's see, about here. Then 0 0.25, 0 0.36, 0 0.45, 0 0.64, 1.0, and 1.44, yeah, something like that. I'm then going to take a straight edge and draw my best fit line. All 
I can see that those points line up in a nice linear fashion. And it's at this point where I can find my slope. So to find my slope, I remember slope is equal to rise over run. And in this case, I, whenever I do data and do graphing, I want to make sure that I pick two points that are on my best fit line. Now, I notice on my graph here, it's kind of hard to see, but I, I have 0, 0 as a point. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 0, 0 as a point. And my other point, it looks like on the line, it's a little bit higher than 1.44. I'm going to, it's not quite 1.5. I might call it 1.45. So my slope is going to be 1.45 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0. Again, you want to show that calculation of the slope whenever you have a graphing problem on a free response section of the AP exam. So I show that calculation, and my slope is about 1.45, and the units of that slope will be rise over run, so seconds squared over kilograms. That is my slope. Now, back to the problem. How do I use the slope to find the spring constant now? Well, if I go back to my original equation, t equals 2 pi square root m over k. Okay, so t equals 2 pi square root of m over k. But I graphed t squared and m, so let's go ahead and square both sides. t squared equals 4 pi squared m over k. Or I can write this slightly differently, t squared equals 4 pi squared over k times m. Now, when I write it like this, I have a function in the form y equals m times x. Because x, my x variable on the graph is mass, my y variable on the graph is t squared, and so the slope I found is equal to 4 pi squared over k. So slope equals 4 pi squared over k, and if I rearrange this, I can see that k, spring constant, is equal to 4 pi squared divided by my slope. So my spring constant is going to equal 4 pi squared divided by 1.45, and then I'm ready just to push a few buttons and find my answer. So after pushing a few buttons, I find that my answer is 27.2. And the units on that K will be newtons per meter. So I have used the graph using the data I've decided what variables I would choose to graph to give me a linear graph whose slope could be used to find the spring constant. I followed all of my steps of graphing, showed all of my work, used a straight edge for the best fit line, found the slope, showed the work of picking two points on the line, not necessarily two data points, found the slope, and then I was able to rearrange the equation in such a way that I can see in this format that the slope was equal to 4 pi squared over k. I simply then solved it for k, plugged in my slope value, and I've got my answer.